Where is the, the second coming will be? The second coming is when Jesus comes on the earth. He literally comes, physically comes on the earth. Yes. And he's going to come with his army. His army meaning all of the saints, the angels, the people who are with him in his kingdom. To better understand this, um, the Bible teaches that there are three heavens. Yes. The first heaven is where the birds fly. It is called the atmospheric heaven. Mm -hmm. And in the Bible, it is called the air. The second heaven is where the stars, the galaxies, the constellations are. The second heaven is where Satan actually abides for now. And then there's the third heaven where the throne of God is. Mm -hmm. At the rapture, Jesus will be leaving the third heaven, for the Lord shall descend from heaven with a shout. Mm -hmm. He's going to leave the third heaven and come down to the first heaven. And according to John chapter 14, he's going to receive us unto himself. Mm -hmm. Because as he said, he's going to spare us from the hour of trial that will be coming on the earth. Exactly, because the rapture will actually kick off the tribulation period mm -hmm. um, on the face of the earth. Mm -hmm. This time is known as Jacob's trouble. Mm -hmm. It is a time where God is going to pour his wrath upon the nations, upon the, the, the worldly, ungodly system, upon Babylon, upon false religion, mm -hmm. upon all the injustice and the ungodliness mm -hmm. like he did in Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm -hmm. People who has the mark of the beast, they will get some grievous sores mm -hmm. on their skin. And pain as well. Yeah, but mm -hmm. a lot of pain. They'll be chewing their tongue in pain. Mm -hmm. from and that, the, yeah. that will be just one of the many punishments that yes. they will receive from God because of their evil and their wickedness. Yeah, because there's going to be seven vials mm -hmm. of God's wrath seven bowls of his mm -hmm. judgment, seven trumpets is going to be sounding, and then I believe the seven seas probably could already be opening mm -hmm. at this time. Mm -hmm. And Christians at that time who are left behind, who were not ready, um, they wouldn't want to take the mark of the beast, so they would not be able to participate in the economy of the world. They would not be able to buy or mm -hmm. sell. And then the beast is going to command that they be killed. Mm -hmm. You know, they're mm -hmm. going to be, have to be martyrs for Jesus during that time of great tribulation. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the best thing we can do right now is to make sure our hearts are right with God and that we are prepared and that we are ready to meet him mm -hmm. when the trumpet of God song. Because... 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16 says, The Lord is going to descend from heaven with a shout. And with the trump of God and the dead in Christ is going to be raised. Yeah. Those who died in Christ, their body is going to physically come back together and they're going to come out of the grave. Mm -hmm. they, they're going to be the first one to meet the Lord in the air. And then we who are alive, Mm -hmm. According to verse 17, mm -hmm. will be changed. Our body will put on immortality. Mm -hmm. This corruptible flesh is going to put on incorruption. And we are going to be caught up to meet the Lord with them in the air. We will. And so we shall ever be with the Lord. Mm -hmm. The rapture is going to be the marriage of Jesus to his bride. The church is his bride. And then after that meeting in the air, he's going to take us to heaven yes. in my father's house, his father's house, and our father's mm -hmm. house, where we're going to have the marriage supper of the Lamb. Mm -hmm. As Pastor so said, we will, have, we will have glorified bodies. We will then be given glorified bodies. So we'd be then be in absolute perfection. Yes. No more sickness. No more sickness. No more pains. Completely flawless bodies. Exactly. And because nothing of sin, nothing flawed can enter God's kingdom. Yes. So he will give us those perfect bodies. And in heaven, there'll be only joy. Mm -hmm. There'll be no sorrow, there'll be no um, pains, there'll be no diseases. Mm -hmm. um, 
In His presence, the Bible says, there will be joy forevermore. Mm -hmm. Real joy, eternal joy, everlasting joy. Nothing in this world is worth risking. Yeah, risking. Your eternal salvation. Yeah, from not going to that place. Of course. And you know, Pastor, I think, uh, as you mentioned before, while we were touching on the rapture and the, the wars that will be coming on the earth, I know that is definitely a topic many individuals do not like to, to hear about. They tend to shun from that topic, exactly. which is God's punishments. And it's factual. There's nothing that is inaccurate about it. You see, God is a God of justice. Of course. And because he's a God that is just and a God of justice, he must punish yes. sin. Of course. Even though he loved Adam, so much when Adam sinned, mm -hmm. he had to put Adam out of the garden mm -hmm. because he already said, If you eat the forbidden fruit, the day you eat that fruit, you will die. Mm -hmm. So Adam had to die, mm -hmm. and, and his very nature being a just God means that he has to, you know, take charge and make yes. sure everything that offends him, of course, you know, um, and he's, be, be punished. He's such a loving God and a just God, but he's also a God that cannot be taken for granted. Exactly. And I believe people tend to do that quite often. They take God for granted. They focus on his mercies. They focus on his love. And they tend to refrain from his, his just quality and the punishments that come with with that just quality. They want to think they can do anything they choose. Exactly. Because he's so loving and so forgiving. He just forgive like that, but it does not work so. He is a forgiving God, but the Bible said, behold the goodness and severity of God. Yes. So he's a good God, a loving God, a kind God, of a just course. God, a merciful God, but he's also a severe God. Yes. And he's going to deal with the rebellious people who are disobedient mm -hmm. and rejects his sacrifice on mm -hmm. the cross and rejects his love. Mm -hmm. They will have to be eternally separated yes. from him. That is so sad, but it is so true. It is. And because he is so loving and so pure, he is not a forceful God. That's why he gave us all the gift of free will of choice. That's right. So that we can either choose him or choose evil. And dependent on our choice, we have the consequence to face. Right. Another difference I would like to mention between the rapture and the second coming is that when the rapture takes place, not everyone will see Christ. Yes. Only those who look for him, the Bible says, shall he appear a second time. Mm -hmm. Hebrews 9, 28. Mm -hmm. He's going to appear only to those who are looking for him. Yes. Those who are seeking him. But at the second coming, every eye will, will see, see him, him. Because he's going to be coming physically, literally, and he's going to fight against the Antichrist and his armies in the valley of Megiddo. And their blood is going to be spilled there. It's going to be up to chest height, mm -hmm. a horse's bridle. Mm -hmm. And the vultures are going to come and eat the flesh of kings and mm -hmm. captains and, and great men. Mm -hmm. They're going to be destroyed in that day when they try to fight against Christ and take, uh, take away his kingdom. But Jesus is the king of kings and the Lord, Lord of, of lords. lords. And he will conquer them. And he's going to come upon, you know, Mount Olivet and... It's going to split and he's going to rule from Jerusalem. Of course. Not just the Israelites, but he's going to rule the entire earth. Yes. For 1,000 years. And what Pastor is saying there that not every eye will see him at the rapture, he means that when he does come in the clouds to take his children from this earth, only those who will be taken will be able to see him. Exactly. At that special moment. The people on the earth will just find 
a lot of people disappeared yes. and missing and, and without a trace. Hence, a lot of chaos will ensue at that time. Exactly. And the governments will be given false explanations of what occurred, such as alien abductions. And as a matter of fact, Pastor, right now they are in the making of such such lies and deceptions. Yes. Because there have been people who have claimed to see aliens or abductions.